they are the first in the low country. Tomorrow, 8,000 students in Georgetown County School District will head back to school with a big change. It's an early start date because the school calendar is very different this year. Georgetown is one of the school districts in the state now operating under a year round modified calendar. News 2's Octavia Mitchell has the story. Not what you would traditionally think of with year round. Not. Students still go to school 180 days. Mm -hmm. Teachers still work 190 days. Okay. All of our principals still work 240 days. A big change in Georgetown County School District. They are the first in the low country with a year round modified calendar. Mm -hmm. And so here's our week off in October. That's the last day of the first nine weeks. GCSD is one of 64 out of 73 school districts in the state now operating under a year round modified calendar. By law, you can't start before the third Monday in August unless you are on a year round modified calendar. Uh, really four key differences in this calendar versus the traditional calendar. One is that we start earlier in August. So we start the first week of August rather than the third week of August. One is when we end, we end the last week in May rather than the first week in June. And then we have two extra week long breaks, one in October and one in February. Everything else is the same. Superintendent Keith Price is beginning his fourth year as leader of Georgetown County School District. Another key difference is for our uh, middle schoolers and our high schoolers, they will actually end semester one now before winter break. So before on a traditional calendar, they didn't end semester one until about mid January. So they'd come back from winter break, have to pick up where they left off learning and then prepare for an exam. Now they will do their exams before they leave for winter break. So when they return, they'll be starting with a new schedule with semester two. He says they held community engagement meetings and conducted a survey. Parents, students and teachers overwhelmingly approved of the changes. When people saw the words year round, it was immediate, no, no, we, we, we don't, we're not interested in that. But that's why we wanted to do some awareness campaigns to show what a modified calendar is and it is not. Price says the modified calendar is not like the traditional year round calendar. What you see is students will go to school for six to nine weeks, then have a, a, a two to four week break, then another six to nine weeks, two to four week break, and you do that all year round. This is modified, it's different. And so because we're starting before the third Monday in August, technically we need to refer to it as a modified year round calendar. He says some of the pros are shortened summers by a couple of weeks, which he says will help reduce the summer learning slide. A week off at the end of every nine week period gives teachers and students a chance to take a break and get back on track. He hopes that will help retain teachers. Also, they will be able to target students who need additional help. And so our plan is to target students who are not being academically successful and are not projecting promotion at that point in time and invite them to come in to do some remediations. The superintendent says one of the challenges is some students see it as less time off during the summer. When you have other districts around you who are on different school calendars than you are, it presents challenges. Also big for the district this year, for the first time, they will have five magnet schools thanks to a nearly $15 million grant. So we will be starting five magnet programs this fall in our five schools in the Carver's Bay attendance area. And that's Plannersville Elementary, Browns Ferry Elementary, Pleasant Hill Elementary, and then Carver's Bay Middle and Carver's Bay High. This grant is allowing us to bring opportunities to the students in the schools in this area that otherwise we would not be able to do. And Price says the district is excited to begin this new chapter. And now we're moving forward. So everyone enjoys a fresh start, coming in with new goals, new initiatives and new priorities. Our, our teachers and our administrators and all of our school employees are ready to make this an absolutely wonderful year. Octavia Mitchell, Count On Two. And you can count on two for everything you need to know before heading back to school. Just scan the QR code on your screen and it will direct you to information on our website, countonto.com.